Yeah, this is a this is a common area where people are looking at making a huge renovation project, and basement renovations can be, you know, easily tens of thousands of dollars depending on what you're looking to do uh, in the foundation. And so we we often get the question as well. I'd like you to come out and look to see what else we can do here besides you know what's already been done because I'm going to be investing in this property, and the last thing I want to do is just rip it apart. Um, and so it really, it's important to understand kind of what the foundation is. And a lot of times these houses that are looking to be finished are gonna be a poured concrete foundation. And most of these foundations that are gonna be finished with poured concrete are usually in the last, I'll say 20 to 30 years uh, after construction. So it's something that is, I would, in the grand scheme of things is a relatively newer construction um, versus something that would be like a stone foundation. So it's important to understand Number one, where is there any, is there any water, any signs of moisture in the foundation to begin with? And a lot of times people say, well, no, I've never had water. Or there's no, there's no issues in here. I've lived here for 10, 15 years and you know, never seen a drop and that's great. So it kind of moves into the category of like very much preventative work. On the side where we see like a lot of efflorescence, which is that kind of white chalkiness on the walls, uh, they might have foundation cracks that are around that aren't leaking. Um, but they're, they're kind of, you know, whether or not they're going to leak is going to be a question. So, so usually we do a kind of initial evaluation with a customer to see, okay, what issues are present or not present and kind of what path do we need to go on? The first easiest way to do is that if there's any sort of flaw in the foundation, whether it's a crack, whether it's around a pipe penetration that has like chalkiness around there, tie rods that are exposed and open, um, so you can see the metal post. These are simple things that should be repaired ahead of time because eventually over time with changing weather patterns, freezing thawing cycles, these areas are gonna be exposed and eventually water will come through. You know, we joke that there's only two types of cracks. Uh, there's ones that leak and ones that are gonna leak. We just don't know when. And when you put up the walls and you insulate the foundation and you finish the basement and you're using it as living space, uh, before you know it, you know, you might have a water issue and now it's really hard to source what the issue is there. So, so preventative, you know, crack repair and, and kind of touching up the foundation, you know, weak points is usually the first line of defense against anything that looks suspicious. If everything looks good and you're not having any signs of cracking or any uh, older repairs that need attention, there's really only a few things you can really do without spending tremendous amounts of money on exterior work. So if you're looking on the interior side of the foundation, there are spray applications and paint applications that we can actually apply to the foundation that will enhance the waterproofing efforts that you already have on the outside. So in a house that was built in the last, we'll call it 30 years, you might see kind of a tar that's been applied to the outside. That is a basement waterproofing tar or foundation waterproofing tar. It helps prevent water from actually penetrating into the pores of the concrete. And you can apply something like that on the inside that is paintable, that is something that goes on clear. It actually kind of plugs all the pores of the concrete uh, there. It's a crystallized quartz-based material. It kind of plugs all of there so that you don't have that moisture transmission coming into the basement. So, you know, it's, it's part of the evaluation process to really find out what is the right path for you because the last thing you want to do is invest in a fifty thousand dollar renovation project to come to find out you needed to do a thousand dollars repair uh, ahead of time or the other flip side is is that if the foundation is looking really good and you don't have a ton of things there maybe investing in a thousand dollars worth of repair ahead of time versus twenty thousand dollars of pure preventative might be the right course of action because some of these preventative things while nice aren't going to enhance the ability to prevent water coming through. So, you know, it's really important to talk to a professional. It's really important to understand, you know, what the history is of the house uh, through certain types of cycles, whether it's been rainy cycles, whether it's been freeze thaw cycles, whether it's been those crazy events in the wintertime where we have snow and then rain right on top that really stress the foundation. So understanding when and if the water comes into the foundation will help the pro really understand what options are available and what really makes sense before you really put the money into the foundation repair or foundation renovation project. So talk to us, you know, we'll be happy to walk through. We can uh, evaluate the foundation with you and really kind of get a good game plan together to make sure we enhance the renovation project that you have.